back to yet another Windows Beta build tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at Windows 7 Beta build 7000. Now this comes as another video request by Brian Tylo. Uh, so once again, Brian, thank you for uh, the video idea. Uh, now a little backstory about this build. This was uh, originally leaked on uh, January 7th, 2009. Uh, it was leaked onto the web. Um, and at a CES of that year, uh, Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer uh, officially um, announced and uh, made it available for uh, download. Um, so we're going to be taking a, a look at it today. Uh, of course, I'm going to be installing it in VMware Workstation. You can use whatever uh, virtual machine software that you have, or if you are using uh, an actual PC to, to uh, install this, you can do that as well. Um, and I'm going to have the uh, link down below uh, in the uh, video description for the uh, ISO file that you need to download. And that's, uh, that is all that you need to download for this build. And yeah, uh, let's just get started. Um, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up uh, whatever virtual machine software that you're using. And you're going to want to create a new virtual machine. Uh, now for me, since I'm using a VMware Workstation, I'm going to select the typical recommended option. Uh, now, you might not have this, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to click Next. And you want to select, I will install the operating system later, so that the virtual machine will be created with a blank hard disk. And then select Next. And you want to select the guest operating system as Microsoft Windows, and the version is Windows 7. And select Next. And, of course, you can name anything. I'm just going to call it Windows 7 Beta. Uh, another interesting thing, this was the first and only uh, Windows 7 beta build that we know of. I mean, Microsoft might have had some uh, in testing that they never uh, actually released uh, to the public, but this is the only one that we know of uh, to exist, so uh, that's pretty interesting. So anyway, you just want to click Next. And uh, for the maximum hard disk size, so for some reason uh, VMware likes to give uh, virtual machines a very large amount of uh, hard drive space. Now I usually like to uh, take whatever number that they give you and uh, slice it in half. Now you might want to uh, keep this because this is a lot of space uh, especially for a, a beta build of Windows which we're probably not going to use that often. I'm actually going to go uh, below uh, half of this which would be 30. I'm going to go actually down to 20 gigabytes and I'm going to store it as a single file. And then you're going to want to select next and then you want to select customize hardware and you want to go to the uh, cd dvd drive and you want to use uh, the iso image file that you downloaded and again that link is going to be down below for those of you that haven't downloaded it yet all right and once you have that selected that's all you have to do in here so you just want to select on close and then finish and it's going to pop up with uh, a new virtual machine um, and now what you want to do uh, for VMware users, you're going to want to go up to where it says VM up here at the top and go to power and then power on the BIOS. Now if you're not using uh, VMware, you might have to use uh, another method of uh, getting into the BIOS. With whatever uh, software that, that you're using, you, you want to boot into the BIOS or uh, set the date to January 7th, 2009, uh, however you, you go about doing that. So anyway, we're just going to change the system date here to 107-2009, and then you want to press enter, and then you want to press F10 to save the configuration, and then press enter to confirm it. And once you do that, it's just going to begin uh, booting into what looks like a pretty standard uh, Windows 7 installation. Uh, you're going to get that uh, pretty familiar uh, Windows 7 boot screen. Uh, that I'm sure you all have uh, seen before if you use uh, Windows 7 even you know once um, and since this is uh, the first time booting and it's also booting from the CD it's going to take a while especially if you're on uh, a real computer doing this but since we are on a uh, virtual machine uh, the time is uh, significantly faster as you can see it's already done and uh, as we can see we have uh, a different uh, install background that's one of the uh, only things that is different about this is the um, you know in, uh, install background besides that uh, I think most of the setup is about the same except for the fact that we have a uh, Windows 7 for testing purposes only build 7000 down here 
Uh, anyway, you just want to select uh, your uh, language, your time and currency format, and your keyboard or uh, input method. I'm just going to leave this all as the default because it's all correct for me. You want to select next, and then you want to select install now. And uh, setup is going to begin starting. Alright, and once it finishes doing that, you, you will be presented with this screen. Uh, that basically says, uh, you know, please read these terms. Now, we don't have to read all these terms, but if you wanted to, you know, they're there. Um, and it, it says uh, Microsoft pre-release software license terms. So this is, you know, basically telling you that this is uh, pre-release Microsoft software so that you don't go, uh, you know, installing it on uh, like your main hard disk, which I would not recommend doing. Uh, but anyway, you just want to select I accept uh, the license terms. And you want to select next and from this selection you want to go to the custom advanced option since we don't have uh, another version of Windows installed and you want to choose uh, your drive here as you can see here it says disk zero unallocated space with 20 gigabytes uh, of free space so we're just going to select next with that selected and it's going to begin uh, doing the rest of uh, the setup process so uh, it's going to be in uh, copying Windows files. You can see that was very fast. Um, it's already done. Now it's uh, expanding those Windows files, and then, then it's going to go uh, to installing features, and then ins installing updates, and then uh, completing the installation. Uh, so I will uh, pause the video here, and I will come back uh, once we reach the uh, next portion of the installation. All right, so right now it says that uh, Windows needs to restart to continue, so uh, it's just going uh, to count down here, and once it does that, uh, it is going uh, to restart your computer, and it's going to boot, actually it's going to boot back into that installation uh, procedure to finish up one last portion uh, of the setup, and I'm just, just going to show you that uh, once it finishes booting up. As you can see, it says uh, setup is updating the registry settings, and once it finishes doing that, you will see it will uh, start some services here. And once it does that, you can see we are back uh, in the standard uh, installing Windows uh, setup portion for the last part of it where uh, it is going to be completing the installation. After it does this, uh, it will uh, restart one more time, and then you, uh, you will be booted. Uh, into the Windows desktop. So, uh, until that happens, I'm just going uh, to pause the video and I, I will be back uh, once we are at uh, the Windows desktop. Alright, so we are now booted up to a pretty familiar Windows 7 Ultimate uh, setup screen. Uh, now this is obviously going to be uh, pretty familiar to anyone that has used uh, pretty much any edition uh, of Windows 7. Uh, so anyway, uh, the first thing that you want to do is just, you know, type uh, a username and uh, type in a uh, computer name. I was going to call this um, Win7 Beta VM. And uh, we'll just, uh, select Next here. And now uh, you want to type in a password. You don't have to if you don't want, so I'm just going to select Next uh, without a password. And uh, for uh, the uh, product key, you don't actually have to type one in. Uh, I'm sure you can find one online if you wanted to, but uh, it is not needed. Uh, you, you can just select next, um, and as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Um, and I would just uh, say here to use uh, the recommended settings, and uh, select your uh, time zone and uh, your uh, time and date settings and all that. And uh, select your computer's current location, and then it's going to connect to your network and apply settings. And once it finishes that, we should boot right in uh, to the Windows desktop. As you can see right here, uh, it has actually asked me if I wanted to uh, create a home group. Now, this is one of the new features that was introduced uh, in Windows 7. Now, I'm just going to select skip because I don't really want uh, to create one of these. But if you wanted to, or if you already have uh, a home group on your network and you want to add this to it, uh, I'm sure you can do that as well from here. So I'm just going to select skip and then it's going uh, to finalize your settings and now it should boot uh, into the desktop as you can see here. Uh, we got the uh, welcome screen again. The um, only thing that is different here on this screen is the uh, background is different. Uh, they did change that in the final build uh, and I'm sure you all know what that looks like. Alright and once it finishes doing all that you can see we are here 
in the Windows desktop and you can see we have uh, that nice little beta fish background to basically indicate that this is a beta build of Windows. We also have uh, the um, Windows 7 for testing purposes only build 7000 and as you can see our uh, date has been set uh, to 1-7-2009 so obviously uh, the date setting has worked. And we also have uh, on the desktop here a new send feedback um, icon and if we uh, open this it just basically is uh, a tool to tell Microsoft about your experience uh, with uh, the Windows beta. And I'm not sure if this still works, uh, but apparently you do have to enter uh, your product key. Now, I'm just not going out to enter one right now, but if you wanted to, uh, you can enter one right here. You can just cl uh, click here and you can enter in your product key. But it does work perfectly fine uh, without it. I don't believe there is um, like a um, time bomb. Well, actually there is because it's uh, a beta build, obviously. So uh, it does ex um, expire, but you can always just uh, set the date back if you wanted to. Uh, so a few things that are different in this build is first of all the uh, start menu looks pretty similar to the Windows Vista start menu. Um, as, as you can see this just kind of uh, reminds me of that. Um, if we go into the uh, control panel this whole interface here looks a little bit different not that much but uh, this little sidebar uh, is uh, I don't even think it was there uh, in the Windows 7 build. Um, and we can go, uh, let's go to the uh, appearance and personalization and change the theme. Because I want to see if we can change this to the arrow theme. And as you can see, we can up here. We'll just change this and see uh, how well um, arrow uh, runs. Now, I gave this machine uh, only one gig of RAM, so I'm not really expecting it to run that well, but it might. Uh, let's just see here. Apparently, this. Is yeah, this is arrow, right? I think huh, maybe there's no arrow on this on this build. I don't know. It's it's probably something with uh, the RAM uh, that it, it doesn't have enough RAM to support, it, so it just doesn't uh, bother loading it. But anyway, as you can see, uh, the whole uh, sidebar over here looks a little bit different. Um, and I will also uh, just run Winver here. As, as you can see, they had uh, the new uh, search um, bar type of thing here uh, that was in uh, Windows 7. It looks pretty much the same. Uh, and here it says Windows 7 Ultimate version 6.1 build 7000 copyright 2008 Microsoft Corporation. Uh, and this is an, an evaluation copy expires July 1st, 2009. And yeah, that's basically it. As you can see, we also have uh, a send feedback. Uh, button up here on all of your windows and this is basically going to bring up the same interface as uh, this over here um, I'm just thinking what else we can open here uh, the uh, shutdown dialog I think looks um, you know just like the one in Windows 7 um, we'll open up on my computer or you know computer here you can see it looks uh, you know pretty similar to the Windows 7 one. I think this looks pretty much exactly like it. You can go and browse all, all your files on the computer. Uh, your um, home group here, they have that in here as well. Uh, your, you know, libraries and all that. So basically this was, um, you know, just like a build to that Microsoft released uh, to their developers uh, to basically show them, you know, what they were doing uh, with Windows 7 at the time. And this looks, you know, pretty similar uh, to the final version. There are a few things that they changed uh, in the final version, and I'm sure you can, uh, you know, figure out what they are. But, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it uh, for Windows 7 Beta Build 7000. Again, Brian Tyler, thank you for the uh, video suggestion. And uh, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy the video, uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, be sure to let me know in the comments what you think of this build uh, if it is uh, you know a good windows build if you like windows 7 or you know whatever uh, and as always i will see you guys in the next video